here I am at the uh, Kali temple, it's all made out of glass. This whole temple in Indonesia, uh, sorry, in Malaysia, is actually made out of glass and it's amazingly uh, done. As you can see, it's just unbelievable the amount of mosaic work which mirrors and glass and mirror. That's me, as you can see. It's just absolutely incredible. If you need to know anything about glass, come here. If you want to learn anything about mosaic, you have to come here. It is unbelievable. I truly don't understand how foreigners can miss this place as the the glitter of glass, the amazing beauty of glass is absolutely incredible. And this gentleman is bathing the uh, the Kali, and uh, this is beautifully done. This is incredible, absolutely incredible. You will not believe what it is, how it is done, how it is purifying, cleansing, purifying, and, and making it. That's gold, by the way. bathe with milk and you have to bathe with milk and after only plain water no milk after only milk how many times do you have to uh, how many times do you have to uh, bathe with water uh, that bucket three buckets full Okay, and until you, and then you collect it into that small one, and that small one you fill it down to that big bucket on the floor. Okay, and you have to fill three buckets full, and that's done. Amazing, beautiful. just done two, I don't know how many buckets he's done. And then here, please take your receipt. And uh, this is very interesting. Uh, it's uh, do it yourself. Connect your soul to Lord Shiva. Please take your receipt, 10 ringgit per person and request your receipt assistance before performing the Abhisanga. Right. So you connect your soul with Shiva and you need to pay 10 ringgit for that. Um, so it's, I presume it's some offering to Lord Shiva. Um, and uh, the offering actually contributes to us the temple's upkeep as well as uh, 
all the, the bills and uh, electricity that needs to be paid. Plus, uh, the donations will also go towards uh, uh, making uh, the temple uh, clean. Uh, and, of course, it's amazing with all this uh, amazing amount of uh, uh, artwork and the mosaic, um, mosaic fixing of glass that's taken place in this temple. Uh, what can I say? Uh, just look out. Look out. Just don't want to close your eyes because the, the scene continues to change um, with amazing beauty of statues, uh, the structures, beautiful amount of uh, uh, mosaic artwork that has been uh, uh, put in place to finish this marvel of, uh, of a temple. In fact, uh, it's just coming to see this is in a Hindu temple, and this is Jesus Christ. And then you come around to this place here. Um, this is Gautama Buddha, as you can see. And then you go to this statue here. This is, in fact, Mother Teresa. As you can see, Mother Teresa of Calcutta. Uh, this is uh, another Bhagawan Sri Di Sai, Sai Baba. And uh, it's amazing that amount of uh, different religious respect is in here. And this is Sri Swami Raga Devinda. Uh, it's another Hindu uh, uh, master. And uh, in fact this is uh, even more intriguing. This is uh, Guru Nanak Devi Ji. It's the Sikh, Sikh Guru. Just there. So, which means uh, the temple here actually does not uh, distinguish as to who and where and what religion and who, what you are. They accept absolutely all as one and believes in all as to respect one another and live in kind live in uh, peace and living in uh, uh, harmony, I suppose, with one another. And here we come uh, to more of the gods, uh, more of the followers. Uh, in fact, this is uh, Sai Baba, uh, so part of uh, a known uh, figure in India. Uh, there's followers from around the world, in fact. Bhagavan Satya Sai Baba. That's uh, that's him. Yeah. And uh, here we come from Abhutleka. You know, Ramya Linga Swami Abhutla. This is uh, the statue of. Uh, then here we have another possibly Sai Baba again. It's so beautiful, so, so beautiful. Here is Sri Ramakrishna Paramasarya.
just unbelievable. How can you describe a place with amazing amount of glass mosaic? From ceiling to the floor. It's just incredible.